tuwasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe. Ni vizuri kuwaona tena hata kujiunga pamoja nanyi na tunashukuru Bwana kwa vile ametulinda juma hilo lote ambalo limepita na hata ametupa siku nyingine jioni njema ambayo ametupa. Na tunapoendelea kutazama tunajua na tutazama kupitia runinga ya Kak TV kuna wale wanao tutazama kupitia Facebook ni Kak TV Kenya wale wanaotumia YouTube bado ni Kak TV Kenya na katika Twitter ni Kak TV underscore Kenya endeleeni kutuma ujumbe wenyu mfupi kupitia 0311220044 na tunaamini ya kuwa tutabarikiwa pamoja tunapoendelea kwanza ebu na tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo Tuanyenyekea mbele zako usiku wa leo tukitambua nguvu na uwepo wako. Bila wewe Bwana hakuna jambo lolote tunaloweza kutenda. Kwa hivyo hata kutupa nafasi hii tunajua ni wewe umependa nasi twapokea kwa shukrani. Asante kwa sababu tunajua utatunenea usiku wa leo na hata kupitia maombi tutakayoomba Mwenyezi Mungu utatusikia. Tunaomba ukasikia dua zetu na kama kuna jambo lolote ambalo lingezuia wewe kusikia maombi yetu hebu ukatusamehe. Tupe wakati mwema tuwaombea mtazamaji yote anapotazama mahali popote yalipo ati akawa wa baraka kwetu na si tukawa wa baraka kwake. Tunapoendelea tunaomba utufunganishe kwa upendo wako. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu. Amen. Tunapoendelea nitampisha mwenzangu Reverend Kaira awasalimie alafu watatujulisha ni nini kinachoendelea siku ya leo. Mm, Asante Rev Elizabeth kwa nafasi ya kutukaribisha na mara tena nasema karibuni Mungu ni mwema kwa kuwa ametuhifadhi na ametulinda neema yake imekuwa juu yetu. Jioni jema katika programu yetu ya Koran to me Tungetaka tuwe na neno la mwongozo ambalo litatoka katika Zamburi 133 Sam 133 ambalo linasema hivi Ni jambo nzuri na la kupendeza sana ndugu na dada kuishi pamoja kwa umoja Ni kama mafuta mazuri ya tiririkayo kichwani mpaka kwenye ndevu zake aroni mpaka upindoni mwavazi lake shingoni ni kama umande wa mlima hemon wa gukao juu ya vilima vya sioni huko mwenyezi Mungu ameahidi kuwabariki watu wake na kuwapa uhai usio na mwisho Zaburi ya Daudi anapotazama umuhimu wa kuwa na umoja na watu kuishi kwa hotu ya calling harmony na jioni jema tuko katika nyakati ambazo tumepitia kwa changamoto baada ya ulimwengu mzima kuingia katika challenge ya ugonjwa wa covid-19 na kati ya yale ambao tumeyaona yakifanyika ni kuwa na dhuruma za kijinsia what we call in english the gender based violence mambo ambayo mmoja anadhurumu mwingine na katika safari yetu ya maombi dhuruma zinaweka kiambaza ni kama is a kibar ya even in our prayer life na jioni ya leo ili tuweze kuomba tukiwa na uh, kuelewa the challenge of gender based violence ama dhuruma za kijinsia na ni nini dhuruma za kijinsia tunaye mgeni wetu ambaye amejitoa ambaye ni Florence Wekesa na tutakuwa pamoja naye katika kipindi cha leo na taweza kuandamana nasi na tutampa nafasi kwanza awasalimie awasalimu kisha nitampisha Reverend Elizabeth tuweze kuendelea kwa kuchambua manda yetu Florence karibu 
Asante sana. Nashukuru Mungu kwa kunipatia fursa hii kuja kujiunga nami siku ya leo kuongelea zaidi haswa mambo ya dhulma za kijinsia. Asante. Asante sana Florence Karibu. Jisikie ukiwa mahali panapostahili na Florence pia hufanya kazi na NCCK na ndio tumemwalika maana jambo hili za, la dhulma za kijinsia wanaliangazia sana na wanaongea kuhusu jambo hili kwa kipana. Na tunapoanza pengine Florence utatueleza dhulma uh, uh, za kijinsia ni nini? What is gender based violence? Na kama kuna aina za dhulma uh, za kijinsia. Asante sana Reverend Elizabeth. Kwanza kabisa kwa majina naitwa Florence Wekesa. I'm a volunteer a trainer with NCCK. I also come from Friends Church which is a member of NCCK. Na leo tunaongelelea mambo kuhusu na GBV, gender based violence ama dhulma za kijinsia. GBV is any act that results to any harmful act whether physical, emotional or psychological that harms a person whether it's occurring in private life or public life and it cuts across all races, borders, haijalishi wewe ni mwanamke wewe ni mwanaume dhulma za kijinsia zina tokea kwa mtu mtu yote na pia kuna aina ine za dhulma za kijinsia dhulma ya kwanza kijinsia inaitwa physical violence physical violence ni ile dhulma ambayo it affects you directly. Mfano ni kama umepigwa na kitu, umechomwa, umeumwa. Then aina ya pili ni sexual violence. Sexual violence is that act ya forcing someone to have sexual intercourse or having unprotected sex with someone and faithfulness, even child sexual abuse, ni aina ya sexual violence. Then aina ya tatu inaitwa Economical violence. Economical violence ni ile to deprive someone about his or her economical rights. Then jinsi ya mwisho kabisa ni psychological or emotional violence. It affects a person's mind. Oh, sante sana, Reverend Kaira. Waweza kuendelea. Na sante sana, Florence, kwa kuweka mifano hiyo minne na labda tuweza tukaweza kuchangia zaidi kwa wakati huu ambao changamoto tangu tuingie katika ulimwengu mzima unapigana na vita we have been on a war in line with the challenge ya covid-19 ugonjwa ambao umeguza kiuchumi umeguza familia umeguza watu hata emotionally labda tuulize swali lingine how has the covid-19 also contributed to escalation of the gbv ama kuenea zaidi hata tunaona waweza ukapanua zaidi hata the gender based violence ambazo imeingia hata kwa the teenage pregnancies wewe tumefungua sasa why uh, how has this caused great escalation uh, first and foremost gender based violence cases has really escalated during this covid period the main reasons are most uh, factories came to a close down and that led to unemployment mm -hmm. tunaona familia nyingi zile zilikuwa zinategemea kimapato kupata kazi saizi kazi hazipo tena kuna ule umaskini poverty poverty imeongeza dhulma za kijinsia ile ambapo unapata baba yuko pale amekaa hapo hana namna ya kupata mapato ya ku, kutoselesha jamii yake anakuja kwa na stress watoto ama bibi anamwitisha chakula hana mali pa kutoa pesa analeta kisirani yote anaanza vita pale tunapata pia shule wakati shule zilifungwa watoto hawaendi shule tena ah watoto tunapata hawapati zile sanitary towels zile walikuwa wanatoa pale shule 
Unaona walikuwa kwa feeding program which is no longer there. Sasa tunapata hawa watoto wanaenda wanapata kuna wale wanaume ambao wanateka advantage. Wanafanya kimapenzi mapenzi ya ngono na wasichana ndio tunaona teenage pregnancies zimeenda zikipanda juu na teenage pregnancies zikienda zikipanda juu pia tunapata janga la ukimwi litaenda pia likipanda juu kwa sababu unapata mwanaume anataka huyu msichana afanye na yeye mapenzi ili ampatie zile visodo za kutumia wakati wa hedi ampatie chakula ampatie makao pia jambo lingine la tatu ambalo linachangia ni kwamba the living conditions sana sana in kwa slums napata nyumba ni ile moja hiyo ndio bedroom hiyo ndio jikoni tunapata wale wasichana ambao wameanza kubalehe baba ama kuna mjomba pale ana nyemelea wale watoto ambao wameanza kubalehe that's why tunapata sexual violence zime increase na ni nani ambao wanasababisha hizi sexual violence ni incest tunapata mjomba amefanya jambo la mapenzi na yule mtoto tunapata teenager pregnancy ziko juu pia tunapata ya kwamba vile kafu ili, iliwekwa ile ya 7 to 5 tukapata ya kwamba wanawake na wa, watoto wanadhulumiwa ikifika saa tatu ama saa moja hakuna mali unayakimbilia kwenda kustaki ukikimbilia kwa polisi kwenda kustaki polisi ndio yule pale anamdhulumu yule mama ama msichana sasa tumeona ya kwamba women and girls are no longer safe anywhere pia zile tunazita safe spaces. Napata wale walio waliokuwa nadhulumiwa kijinsia walikuwa na safe spaces but sasa hizi they are no longer the safe spaces because of the covid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na basi kwa maana Florence hapo nashukrani sana umerenga haswa kuna dhuluma zingine hata zinatokea kwa uh, wazee hata kwa boy child uh, nyakati hizi. Mm-hmm. Ni vizuri labda tuendelee zaidi na kwa maana we know when we have an idle mind is still the devil's workshop so tujui kama ni nafasi ya kuwa tu watu kwa maana hawaendi wengine kazini hiyo kafi inawaleta nyumbani mapema hiyo imechangia lakini vizuri tuendelee zaidi ukachangie juu ya even the prevalence rate ya the HIV and AIDS wakati huu as we also address the covid-19 kwa maana pia ni changamoto na unaona mwanaume katika mambo ya kiafya yeye die amepata pigo zaidi waweza ukaendelea zaidi kuona dhuruma pia zaweza zikaguza mtoto wa kiume na baba Asante sana watoto wa kiume pia wanaadhirika ni vile they suffer in silence kwa kimombo tunasema we are living in a patriarchal society where by men are given all the powers wametoa mamlaka yote the society and culture says inasema ya kuwa wanaume ifai ukomplain mwanaume umetoa mamlaka yote mpaka wanaume wamepewa kuna ile culture ile inasema mwanaume ako na mamlaka juu ya mwanamke even in our own bodies as women uh, we are termed to be a weaker sex men are the ones to detect how when and where sex should be done so you see they take advantage over the women's and the girl child bodies but they also suffer but they don't have that platform where they can complain mm-hmm. reverend even uh, church elders pastors they also undergo through all forms of violence but swali ni utasimama hapo mbele kwenye madhabahu useme mimi nimepigwa mimi napitia hii dhulma utauliza utaanza aje mm-hmm. e, our culture does not allow il hali wana pitia hizo dhulma za kijinsia mm-hmm. wow. asante asante sana florence na tunapoendelea tunawaomba ya kuwa muendelee kutuma ujumbe zenu jinsi mnavyoona mambo ya dhulma za kijinsia zinavyoendelea na pia katika ile hali ya maombi najua tutafika mahali tutakapomalizia tutawa kuwa na wakati wa kuombea familia maana tunajua familia zimeadhirika kama vile Florence amesema hali ya kifedha wazee wamekosa kazi akienda nyumbani anaitishwa pesa hana hazira zinam hasira zinampanda na anajikuta amedhulumu 
aidha mke wake ama watoto na hata wakati wengine watoto wakati mwingine watoto they are very innocent they they are not understanding what we can understand now so yeye vile amezoea kuitisha hata wakati huu anaendelea tu kuitisha lakini haelewi mfuko hakuna so tunaomba ya kuwa mtaendelea kusemezana nasi kupitia 0311220004 katika ile hali ya e, kutuma jumbe zenu za maombi na hata kuchangia vile mnavyoona pengine hata tutafanya nini suluhisho ni nini ili tuka salvage the families so that kama vile mchungaji Kaira amesoma Psalm 133 ya kuwa inampendeza Mungu ya kuwa familia wakaishi pamoja kwa amani. So tunapoendelea Florence, pengine utatusaidia. Tunaposema dhuluma zimekuwa nyingi, yawezekana pengine utatusaidia kuwa na jambo moja mbili litakalo saidia to alleviate this challenge even if we might not really bring it to a close. But at least we can make one or two persons asaidike najue njia ni hii pengine nikipatia katika hii njia nitafaidika karibu florence thank you sana e, sisi kama kikundi cha ncck e, tumekuwa tuki train the women clergy women mediators the youth groups the community health workers and the police tunazidi kuwapatia the community at large about the we sensitize them on gbv issues where to report na pia kuna katika kila mtaa kuna kwa police there is that uh, gbv desk tunahimiza familia kukitokea jambo lolote za la dhulma za kijinsia unaweza enda uka report pale utapata uzaidizi na pia ncck tumekuwa tuki train the clergy and the women pastors during their online messages preaching kuna zile messages ambazo tumewapatia ambazo they can integrate during their preaching not only through prayers counseling but they can also offer other services to the victim and the perpetrator kwa sababu tunaona pia huyu aliyedhulumiwa na yule aliyedhulumu wote wanataka usaidizi na pekine wakati umenena kuhusu maneno ya kwenda kwa polisi tumesikia cases nyingi uh, mtu ameenda kuripoti kwa polisi lakini pengine wanamkejeli uh, they, they it's like they're not believing the story so alienda pale asaidike lakini ameondoka akisikia hata heli singeenda na kwa sababu hiyo story huenda ikaenea mwingine atafanywa hivyo atasikia hataenda si kama kuna namba speciali ama kitu speciali ambapo mtu akisikia hata saidika hapa Hakusaidika kwa hii police station. Where else can that person go? Hapo awali we've been having the challenges on reporting. Mm-hmm. But saizi the police pia they have been trained on GBV issues. Mm-hmm. They are aware and um, they have been trained. They are so much aware about the reporting channels. Initially we had stigma. Mm-hmm. Ya kwamba unapata mtoto amedhulumiwa na mjomba wake, baba jirani ama mwalimu kulikuwa na that stigma mm-hmm. sasa wananchi wengi walikuwa wana hofia hiyo stigma ama wana, wana prefer kangaroo court mm-hmm. then remember that this child's life has been uh, spoiled forever so tumekata hiyo kangaroo court na sasa kuna ile the judicial law mm-hmm. na kuna ile nambari ya polisi toll free hivi kama mtaniguso niseme hiyo na mm-hmm. 0800 From whichever network ukipiga hiyo namba wherever you are utasaidika na polisi yule aliye karibu na pia kuna ile namba ya MSF MSF ni Medical San Frontier madaktari wasio kwa na mipaka in case of any rape case iwe ni sodomy iwe ni whichever type of sexual violence nambari ni 0711 400 Repeat again. MSF 0711 Okay. Thank you Florence. Uh, hapo katika 
kumuita Mungu na kuomba mara tena hapa kuna funzo ya kwamba ni vizuri kuomba tukiwa na hali ya kuelewa mm. for my people perish for lack of knowledge labda hata mtu aweza akawa amepitia katika dhuluma fulani anaendelea kuomba na angepata mambo ya usaidizi wa kwanza so that one could be prevented na katika kusikiza wengine ambao wamepitia dhuluma hizo wakiwa watoto wakiwa wachanga na haswa mwanaume tumeona wengine anaenda na hicho kidoda na chaweza kikamuelekeza naye kudhurumu wengine na ndio ningeomba hii kutia kutilia mkazo kwa ajili ya mwanaume hato kerezei kwa uharaka kuongea juu ya labda dhuluma hata akinyimwa chakula na hata labda ni yeye alipigwa hawezi akatoa ujumbe na mchungaji Elizabeth ametumia jina la Kiswahili kukejeri mm -hmm. na hiyo kukejeri inaongezea stigma kwa mwanaume hawezi akaenenda kusema na sasa tuko kwa society ambayo haiko katika the cultural milieu ile ya zamani ya kusema mambo mengine hawezi ukasema kwa maana hiyo amani na tungetaka tuongezee zaidi tu ni jiani ungehimiza kwa maana tunaona mwanaume katika changamoto hii amepata pigo kubwa na na when you have a wounded an angry person mtu ambaye ana mahasira hasira ni hasara tunaona pia he becomes more of the perpetrator lakini kwa sababu hata vile anapokelewa pale hapati suruhu na hivi karibuni tumeona mifano kwa mfano jambo limetokea likiwa ni jeda ni ni jeda ambayo wanaweza ambayo imehusu mtoto kijana the perpetrator ha shughulikiwi sana lakini ukisikia ni ya msichana hiyo ni haraka unampata even getting justice labda kwa njia moja ya kuongezea because uh, Mungu husikia maombi ya taifa ambalo linaweka haki justice. Mm. Mm. Ibi waanza uka stress kitu cha kuweka ile haki justice ili Mungu naye aweze kufikisha baraka zetu zake kwetu kama wa tunaoishi katika ulimwengu huu. Asante sana Reverend kwa hilo swali. Na bado nitarudi hapo awali ambapo nilisema we are living in a patriarchal society. Mbapo nilisema the society in a dictate how a man or a woman should behave. Uh, on the issue of gender-based violence, we are really trying to encourage men who have been uh, violated to come up to speak out. Na pia, sisi kama NCCK, tunajaribu ku, kusensitize the whole community. Na vile nilianza nikisema gender-based violence, it cuts across all borders, across all gender. Haitaki kujua we ni mwanaume wewe, dhulma ni dhulma. Mm. Na pia hawa wanaume ni vile hawajitokezi. Bado wako kwa ile dhana ya nitachukuliwa kivipi, wataniona aje. But in real sense, they are suffering. So maybe we reverend, eh, kiwa hapa labda unaweza anzisha kikundi ama platform ile ya women, men to come out and speak. To come out of that box, ile box imewafunga ya kuwa my culture does not allow my society does not allow kwa sababu dhulma ni dhulma na hakuna hakuna ile dhulma inaumiza mwanamke sana ama inaumiza mwanaume sana dhulma ni dhulma asante hapo labda ku kuinua kutoka kwako ni kama kwamba tuendeleze njia ya developing the positive masculinity while we also engage developing the positive femininity mm -hmm. katika taifa ile hali ya kijinsia ya kiume na ya kike ambayo inachangia umuhimu wa kuheshimu kila jinsia vile Mungu ametuumba mm -hmm. because tuliumbwa na mfano wa Mungu mm -hmm. asante asante mm -hmm. uh, na asante kabla pengine sijampisha tena eh, Reven Kaira ili atupe nafasi ya kwenda break 
ni vizuri tu kuhamasisha watu wote ya kuwa it is good to speak out uh, because if you don't speak out you will suffer alone na pengine it will even be too late hata kama ni mwanaume we know we are not used to like for example a man being molested but it is true they are being molested they are being violated their rights are being violated so it's good to also encourage the men who are hearing us that confide in somebody even if hutaki kuisema watu wote wasikie confide in somebody that you are suffering maybe ukiwa kijana ulikuwa molested and it has taken you so long to be able to you know uh, uh, kutoa hilo jambo katika moyo wako lakini pia kama wa Kristo i think mchungaji kaira ni vizuri tuwe na ile hali ya forgiving ourselves and you know forgiving others because until we do that we become prisoners of what we went through maybe as children ama katika ile hali tuliyo sasa ya kuwa mtu mzima so uh, we it's good to also encourage our listeners that please find in your heart to forgive because if you don't forgive what will happen is that you will seek for revenge na mungu amesema that it is him to avenge revenge ni yake otherwise you revenge utamharibu mwingine ambaye alikuwa so innocent hata hajui hiyo hadithi yako na pengine ujipate katika shida pengine ujipate jela so it is good to uh, find in your heart to forgive but we also want to encourage even the young boys that when you find something not very usual speak it out if you find it difficult to talk to your father you can talk to your mother if it is also difficult to speak to those parents confide in a friend of your parent tell them i am going through this and i need help otherwise we want to raise up a generation that is not a generation that is frightened a generation that is has a lot of fear because of what has been going uh, in, in their lives even girls small girls wherever you are we also want to encourage you that when you find something not very usual speak it out T- tell it to somebody so that you can be helped otherwise we we we, we as atasisi watu wazima we also need to be responsible i believe so reverend kaira that we create safe spaces even for our children if it is a husband and wife create safe spaces even in your home because when children are raised up in a family where there is full of violence then they, their life is not is never the same again so sisi wote tu ni vizuri kuwajibika ya kuwa ukiona huyo ni msana mdogo na we ni mwanaume muangalie ni mtoto kama ni nyumbani tuwe na nafasi nzuri ya kuwa na amani tutafute amani in fact biblia imesema tutafute amani kwa hivyo wakati mwingine si rahisi amani kuja lakini tuitafute na tukiitafuta there is a, a time of letting go there is a time of even lo- overlooking some of these things so that we can be able to live at peace with everyone so reverend kaira maybe as you usher us for break our visitor could be having one more thing to tell us. Asante sana Reverend Isabel kwa kukukumbusha kwamba ni vizuri kutafuta hiyo amani na katika madhayo tano Yesu akinena juu ya mlima na ili apeane the great commission tuenende ni ya kwamba ni lazima heri ni wale ambao wanatafuta amani kwa maana wataitwa wana wa Mungu. Kwa hivyo jia moja ya kutafuta hiyo amani ni kujaribu tuwezavyo kuishi kwa amani mmoja na mwingine mme na mke kuishi kwa upendo na kuheshimiana heshima sio utumwa na zaidi pia wakati haya na yale yametokea ni vizuri kuwa na hali ya the forgiveness you forgive yourself we be the wounded healers you are wounded yes but you don't go wounded wounding unaenda uki jera jeruhi wengine na basi Florence kwa maana ulitaja aina za the domestic violence the physical the verbal the emotional na pia the economic na sexual abuse kabla ya tuenende kwa break na kabla ya tukupe nafasi ya kuondoka tukiingia katika kipindi cha pili cha maombi ni vizuri waweza uka 
Sema neno moja baro ulaeza likawa good part ni short in this first part. Na tuashukuru mungu kwa kuwa pamoja nasi hata kwa kuguzia. Even the messages of hope in the wake of the challenges of the COVID-19. Tunaweka zile social distance, tunajaribu kuweka usafi. Pia hatutangamani sana the we don't know the crowd. Yet there are other challenges like HIV and AIDS. Lakini ni mizuri kabla tutamatishe kwa wakati utuende break. Wajazo kasema neno moja la busara na hekima. Na tuashukuru sana. Karibu Florence. Sante sana. Ningependa kusema ya kuwa violence is a land behavior and it can also be unlearned. Na sisi kama NCCK tuko na hiki kitabu cha Tama campaign ambayo tunatumia for our church members who are under NCCK they are using this book to help us the message on how to reduce gender based violence in our community and in our churches. Asante sana Florence Wekesa na akinena juu ya Tama campaign jina Tama linatoka Samuel wa pili rangu wa 13 Mahara tunaona vile msichana anaitwa Tama alidhulumiwa sexually na his the half brother na tunaona vile mpango uliendelea na jambo hilo hali kuleta baraka lilileta changamoto hata kifo baadaye mm -hmm. kwa hivyo tuseme when we don't speak up early enough and we don't solve the challenge changamoto zinaingia after bible study hiyo tutaweza kuingia na kuifanya ili watu waishi kwa busara na heki marandia neno la Mungu. Asanteni sana wapendwa watazamaji na sasa tutakuwa na muda mfupi wa kuwa katika break and then kutuma jube zenu na tunaona zingine zinaendelea kuingia tukiingia katika awamu yetu ya pili ya maombezi tutazidi kushiriki pamoja tukiombea familia, tukiombea taifa na tukiwa na ushirika wa pamoja. Asanteni sana Mungu na wabariki. Stay right there. We will be right back after the short break. Thank you. Kwenye kazi na mali, tunakuangazia, tunakuhamasisha, kuhimiza na kukuelimisha kuhusu kazi shughuli na mbinu za wachapakazi mbali mbali kuchuma riziki Wengine walikuwa na mwanzo mgumu patalon kutoka kwa nyanya yangu Wengine wana uwezo maalum na wanafanya mambo maalum Nilizaliwa hivi eh Lamno wote ni wachapakazi halali wanaojenga uchumi wa taifa Ungana naye mpishi mpakuzi mpishi mpakuzi kutoka kwangu mpishi mpakuzi Vincent Kirosi kila Jumanne saa moja nusu jioni anapoweka bayana kuwa mtafutaji hachuki akichoka kesha pata ni hapa Kak TV as a seed a marriage is instituted you now embark on the work of watering it cultivating it creating legacies from one generation to the other that is what growing families takes and for powerful discussions on family as we answer questions, demystify myths, and touch on those controversial topics, tune in to Kak TV as we talk, talk, and talk a whole lot more about family. As we grow my family, grow your family, and grow our families. Because a stable family is a stable society. Join me, Faith Kaulu, together with Reverend Edward Karanja and Professor Catherine Gashuda on Transforming Families right here at Kak. TV. Are you worried by the rapidly changing patterns in crime? Are you concerned about the enforcement of the law? 
Crime Must Fall show is the latest way to combat crime by bringing together different professionals and institutions in the justice system to critically interrogate factors related to crime both locally and globally with a view of professionalizing criminal justice system. This can only be achieved through a partnership of a vibrant professional body and media. CAC TV, in partnership with the Professional Criminologist Association of Kenya, brings you Crime Must Fall show every Tuesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Join us in this exciting journey as we focus on interviewing high-profile stakeholders and panelists in the criminal justice system only on CAC television because crime must fall. Are you looking to grow your business? CAC TV offers you a variety of advertising opportunities to suit your budget. Advertise with us today and reach your potential customers countrywide. For more information, email us on sales at cactv.org or call 0794588054. Every young person's dream is to achieve a goal and set a standard that raises the bar even higher towards the achievement of the set goal. We should just all learn to be patient and just move with our pace. As a young person, there are a few elements that you need to put in place for your dream to pass. Uh, the financial discipline that should be taught is to spend what you earn. Join me, Francis Ngala, every Friday on Youth Part at 7.30 p.m as I direct every beam of light to youth on the move and on issues that are affecting the young generation. Are you a class 8 or form 4 candidate at home? Worry not, education has no boundaries. CAC TV is now airing quality education content direct from the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, KICD. Tune in to CAC TV every weekday to watch and be part of the learning experience. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Are you looking to grow a business? CAC TV offers you a variety of advertising opportunities to suit your budget. Advertise with us today and reach your potential customers countrywide. For more information, email us on sales at cactv.org or call 0794588054. Karibuni tena katika awamu ya pili ya kipindi hiki cha niite ama call unto me na tunapoendelea kupokea jumbe zenu za kutuambia mnatazama mkiwa wapi kama kuna jambo mungetaka kuchangia kuhusu maneno ambayo tu tumetoka kuongea dhulma za kijinsia unaweza kuchangia pale na hata kama uko na ombi ni vizuri kujieleza pale Na kama uko na shukurani ya jambo ambalo mungu wa mekutendea, pia litaje pale. Na mgeni wetu ambaye tulikuwa nae, ametuambia ya kuwa dhulma ya kijinsia inapatikana e, kwa mwanaume ama kwa mwanamke, kwa mtoto msichana ama mtoto kijana. So yeyote aweza akadhulumiwa. Na ametukumbusha ya kuwa katika hiyo dhulma, either ni ya fiziko, kuchapwa, ama ku umizwa hali ya mwili ama katika fikla, fikra ama katika hali ya kifedha ama katika hali ya watu mtu kuonana kimwili na yule mwingine dhuluma hizo zote zinapatikana miongoni mwa familia na wakati huu wa covid 19 mambo sio mepesi sana lakini uh, zaburi 133 inatuhimiza ya kuwa tujaribu kwa vivyote vile kukaa kwa amani maana verse 3 imesema hapo ndipo Mungu huamrisha baraka so tuna jukumu ya kujaribu uh, kuishi kwa amani na pengine kabla hatujaanza kusoma zile jumbe ningemuomba mchungaji Kaira awe na nafasi ya kuombea familia 
na hayo mambo ambayo tumeyataja ili watu wakaendelea kupata suluhisho katika mambo wanayopitia mchungaji kaira karibu asante wapendwa tuamini pamoja tuombe Mungu mtakatifu Mungu baba mwenye rehema wewe ulituumba na mfano wako jinsia ya kiume jinsia ya mke na katika kutuumba vile hakuna ambaye ni mdogo one who is resa ya in your image and in your likeness twakutukuza na twakushukuru kwa kutuumba vile hata tunapoona wakati mme alionekana haja toshereka haja kamilika uli mpa msaidizi the helper the help meet na hapa tunaona ni kama usaidizi unaungana ili tuwe na vizazi na tuweze kuendelea twakushukuru kwa kutupa familia ya kwanza for the first institution you started is a family na jioni jema Mungu wetu tazama tume asi tumeenda kinyume cha matakwa yako katika kifamilia badala ya kuwa mmoja msaidizi wa mwingine kuingine Mungu tumedhurumiana wake katika tamaduni zetu wamedhurumiwa watoto wamedhurumiwa nyakati hizi katika the growth and the affluence of life waume pia wamedhurumiwa na sasa Mungu yetu twaje bere zako tukiwa tunaona aibu bere machoni pako toomba ewe uliye mtakatifu ukatusamehe dhambi na makosa yetu kuingine bwana tumekuwa na upungufu sana wa upendo na wewe Mungu wewe uliye tupenda jinsi hii ukamtoa mwana wako nasi umetutuma tujitoe moja kwa mwingine that self sacrifice mahara Mungu wetu tumepungukiwa tukadhurumu moja na mwingine kimwili tukadhurumu moja na mwingine kimawazo tukadhurumu moja na mwingine kiuchumi hata tunaona nyakati zingine wajane wanapoachwa mali zao zinanyakuliwa Watoto wameachwa mayatima Mungu wetu. Haya makosa Mungu wetu tuwaomba jioni ya leo tukikuliria. Ukafanya dani yetu tujirudie sisi na tuweze kuftenda lile la kweli ambalo litaturejeshea mbaraka. Kama vile neno lako latukubusha tukiishi kwa umoja ule that harmony you declare your blessings even life everlasting twakuoba Mungu wetu ukakubuka waume kwa wake hata wale ambao wanakilio wengine hata wanaingia kiwango cha kuwa na kesi kotini na tunaona hata haki kuingine mwingine aweza hata kapita mrango wa nyuma na haki ikakosa kutimilika lakini wewe kwa maana ni hakimu wa haki tusaidie kukubuka wewe haubadiliki jana leo na hata milele utabaki kuwa Mungu na dio jioni ya leo twakuliria ukakubuka familia ukakubuka hata ile madhabahu ya kila familia the family altar the, the priesthood of all believers ukuhani wa mme wa mke wa watoto wote wataonekana wamefanyika na wameumbwa katika mfano wa Mungu na kila mmoja akitumika mahara pake sikia dua zetu sikia kilio chetu kwa maana tuomba kwa imani katika Yesu Kristo ambaye ni Bwana na mkombozi wetu. Amen. Amen. Asante sana mchungaji kwa hilo ombi. ndani uh, ya moyo wangu ninasikia kuhimizwa kuombea hizo nyoyo ambazo already zimepata dhulma na wanalia sana. Huko ndani yao wengine dhulma ambazo wamedhulumiwa hawa wanashindwa watazisemaje so na huko ndani ya mioyo yao wanaumia wanakilio hawajui wafanyeje 
ya kuwa Mungu atawapa amani, atawapa suluhisho na ataonyesha njia, njia ile nzuri ambayo inastahili ili wakaweza kuwa na uponyaji. Hebu tuombe hizi hawa watu. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. <clears throat> Tuwaje mbele zako tena tukitambua nguvu na uwepo zako. Tukitambua wewe ni Mungu mkuu, wewe ni Mungu ambaye hawezi kulinganishwa kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wa kipekee. Na tu naja mbele zako tukijua ya kuwa hakuna jambo huoni hata lile lililo sirini sana huliona. Hata wakati huu tunapoongea kuhusu dhulma za kijinsia umewajua wengi ambao wamedhulumiwa. Wengine walidhulumiwa wakiwa watoto wadogo na wamenyamaza na hili jambo kwa siku nyingi sana. Hawajui waseme nini lakini wakiwa katika pahali pao pasiri wanalia sana. Wengine wamedhulumiwa wakiwa wakubwa na hawajui wa, watafute usaidizi wapi. Tunaombea watu kama hawa ya kuwa Bwana utawavuta machozi. Na utawapa ile hekima ya kujua ni wapi utakapowaelekeza wa, ili wakamwaga yaliyo moyoni mwao kwa watu ambao watawaamini na watawadhamini ili mioyo yao ikapata uponyaji. Na tunataka kutemea hii roho ya dhulma. Roho ya ku e, nyanyasa watoto wadogo, wasichana tunaona katika runinga ambao wamenajisiwa na wanaume, wamenajisiwa na watu ambao ni wa familia zao. Hata wengine tunaona ni mzee na amefanya watoto wake wa kike wake zake. Ya kuwa anawadhulumu kila siku. Tutataka kukataa huu roho. Na tunasema Mungu usaidie that you give us sanity of mind mm. that you give us sober minds mm -hmm. that we be able to do what is right in your eyes oh god mm. na utuondolee hii tamaa na wengine hata ni revenge wameshindwa kusamehe wale ambao waliwatenda hili na kwa hivyo kila wakati wana tafuta jinsi watakavyolipiza kizazi na wameshindwa kulipiza kwa yule aliyemtendea kwa hivyo wanainyosha kwa wengine So wana madhulumu watoto pengine ni kijana mdogo anadhulumiwa msichana na huyu ha, mtoto hajui afanye nini na hajui kwa nini anapitia haya Mwenyezi Mungu tuwaomba Children of this kind that you may help them that you may rescue them from this kind of uh, torture that they are going through Tunajua hata wengine ni wake na waume wakiwa pale bomani lakini bado wanadhulumiwa lakini wamenyamaza hawajui waambie nani. Wengine hata ni watu wako na very high standing even in the church and they don't know who to tell. Wengine they have very high standing even in the community mm. and they are ashamed of saying this because they are worried of what people will think about them. Lakini wakati mwingine watu wanaponyamaza tunaona hili jambo linaendelea mpaka wengine wanaenda kutolewa uhai. Mwenyezi Mungu tuwaomba ukasaidia watu wa aina hii wakaweza kujieleza that they will seek safe places where they can be able to be at peace even as they sort out their issues oh God and we pray that we will not hear these deaths that we hear every now and then in families oh God because the, some of them are deaths of even innocent children and this type of deaths are not pleasing in your eyes king of all mm. glory therefore dear lord we pray that you help people be sober enough that they can make informed decisions and choices in their lives mm. because when we destroy our young children we destroy a whole generation and they will not be able to enjoy life they will not even want to get into marriages because of what they have gone through therefore lord we pray that you help our children be safe You help our women be safe, you help our men be safe and that they can move on with life without fear of other people. Dear Lord, we thank you and we know that you are in charge and we know that Father, you are doing something new even in this kind of scenarios. Maana tuomba haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu. Amen. Amen. Mchungaji Kaira. Asante sana Rev Elizabeth kwa kipindi hicho tunaye Robert Mwaura tuned in during this period of COVID-19 let's live in harmony 
be our brother's keeper. Let's continue trusting in the Lord. Ni vizuri ya Santi Robert Mwaura, Wanjiru Muya. If somebody confines in you, let's stop the victimization. Hakika, ni vizuri tuki changia mambo kama haa ya dhuruma. Sio kwa maana mtu wame kuerezea and he or she was looking of a safe space, safe spot. Nawe unamutoa inje. Ni vizuri kuwa na hiyo integrity of uh, hali ya juu. Na pia kuwa one another skipper. Hilo ni maono mazuri na niombi na ni vizuri tuendere kuwa one another skipper. By also not uh, taking our issues for with a lot of casualty being too casual. Wanjiro Muya tuned in from City Center Beirut. Loving the show. Pray for us out here. Hawa wako kure City Center. Ni kure Beirut na wanaomba tuzidi kuwa kubuka. Ni vizuri tukainua ombi hiri. Mm. Mungu wetu tuwa kushukuru kwa wapendo watazamanji. Tunae Wanjiro Muya. Tunae Robert. Ambao wamechangia Kwa himizo ya kwamba mungu wetu tukiwa tunajari moja na mwingine. We be one another skipper. We should keep that level of integrity, that level of confidentiality when people confide in us. Na diyo maana jioni ya leo. Tuwaomba kwa maana tuko katika ukuhani wa waumini wote. Tusione tu ni wakati pasta amelezewa mambo wakati labda elder amelezewa mambo lakini hata sisi mmoja na mwingine tusaidiane katika changamoto zile tunapitia na ndio maana tuombea wengi ambao wanasikiza na wengi ambao Mungu wetu anahitaji kuwa na a place where they can continue to confine for your glory in Jesus name we pray amen amen hata <laughs> Msugezi Kaira, wakati umesoma hiyo message ya that when people share their problems, uh, sometimes kuna ile lack of confidence ya kuwa mm. ni tamuambia, alafu watamuambia mwingine. Mm. Pia kuna wale wanajipata katika hii scenario. Ya kuwa pengine ni mtoto msichana na anadhulumiwa, ama ni mtoto kijana na anadhulumiwa, na kienda kuambia pengine nyanya yake, mm-hmm. nyanya yake anamkemea. You see now we have those ule ni lack of trust. Mm. Pengine atanitoa ata nje. Huu naye ameenda kutafuta suluhisho ama kutafuta usaidizi lakini mwenye kuambiwa anakemea huyu mtoto. Mm. So unaona mtoto huyu anajikunja hana hana wa kuambia and it's good to challenge the parents even the grandparents who and who are listening to us. Ya kuwa mtoto akija kwako mm-hmm. na he or she wants to confide in you please give that child a listening ear yawezekana haongei mambo tu hivi hivi kuna kitu wanataka kukueleza mm-hmm. lakini wakati tunakuwa wa haraka kuwakemea na kuambia hiyo maneno unayosema haiwezekani hata unakana yule mtu ambaye anasemwa kwake huyu hawezi kufanya hivyo na akijua utachapwa then our children no longer have safe places to give out what they are going through. So let's give them a ear. Let them have be able to confide in us. Na wewe ambaye umepewa hilo jambo, kama huyo mwenye kukupatia hilo neno, hakukupa ruhusa ya kuambia mwingine, mm. usiambie mwingine. Yeah. Kuwa na wakati wa kumsaidia kwa vivyote uwezayo na hata zaidi kumweka mbele za Mungu kwa maombi. Asante. Yes. Nina nina ujumbe hapa kutoka kwa Sara from Daya. Anasema, indeed, gender-based violence has greatly been a point of concern. And she's saying, thank you very much for bringing in this topic, blessings. Thank you, Sarah. You have been following us so closely. And every time we see your message and we are encouraged. Asante sana, Sarah. Tena tuko na ujumbe, praise God, Reverend Kaira and Reverend Elizabeth. I'm Wanjiro Jogona from Kenyatta Road. Juja, please pray for our old parents who are back there in the village and with terminal diseases. Mm-hmm. Let's remember this eh, wazazi hawa mm-hmm. ambao walitulea, wakafanya kazi kubwa 
na wakati huu wa uzee wako pia na changamoto za hali ya kiafya baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tena tena mara tena tuwaje mbele zako maana wewe hauchoki kusikiza yale tunayokueleza na kila wakati watamani tukuambie yale yanayotushinda na yanayotusumbua tunaleta ombi hili ambalo limeombwa na dada wanjiro ambaye anasema tuombe wazazi wetu ambao wakati huu ni wakongwe na katika ile hali ya miaka kwenda pia wanapitia katika changamoto ya magonjwa e, tofauti tofauti baba wazazi hawa walitulea walifanya kazi kubwa walijinyima ili sisi tukoe vile tulivyo na hatuna jambo lingine kubwa tunaloweza kufanya ila kuwasimamisha mbele zako. Kwa hivyo tawaleta kwako tukikuomba uangalie na jicho lako la huruma. Na baba ukawatembelea. Pay them a special visitation of God so that even in their old age and as you have promised that you will continue carrying them. May you carry them oh God. And Father may you minister to their needs those that even have gone they cannot even be able to remember they have gone out of memory oh lord may you have mercy on them kuna wale ambao wako na terminal diseases we know god there is nothing too hard for you you can do any miracle so that you can be glorified therefore pay them a visit to oh god and do them good meet them at the point of their needs and also encourage them in their hearts even as they live in this very final years of their life oh god that they will not lose hope in you but they will continue hoping in you until lord they will cross over the river mm-hmm. we bless your name knowing that father you were taking care of them forever they are and that you continue continue upholding them for this we pray in jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. hapo asante sana kunaye anasema solution be available eh uh, and led we led a listening ear to anyone who has been violated be it a man or a woman child or adult mm. but do not be judgmental mm. my take your domain from pca kinagob central mm-hmm. hapa ni tena himizo ya kwamba wakati tunatafuta suruhisho ni lazima tuwe na lile sikio ambalo linasikiza na linasikiza kuelewa ikiwa ni mme ama ni mama ama ni mtoto wameingia katika dhuluma zile tusiingie kuhukumu kwa maana when we become judgmental is like you dismiss that person you dismiss the concerned client na nyumae changamoto zitafuata za jambo hilo ni vizuri sisi zote tusimamishe hilo ombi na ndugu mwingine naye amesema a blessed teaching on family challenge in modern times ama ni funzo ambalo linaweka kina katika changamoto za nyakati zetu za maisha yetu reverend mutura asa, mutura asanti sana na twasema ni vizuri kuomba kwa ajili ya tunaposikiza ni obi gani linazunguka ndani ya mawazo yako nasikia mchungaji nikihimizwa tunapochangia katika jambo hili mm-hmm. domestic violence ama dhuluma za kijinsia zingine zinatokea even in the world of affluence mm-hmm. and one way is when we are having domestic manda ama vifo ambazo zinafuatana na what we call honor killing mtu anauliwa ni kama ni heshima anapewa na zingine zinapitia kwa dawale dore death wakati hata tunaingiza tunaingia daraja la watoto wetu wanaoa wanaoana vile familia zinaketi na kujadiliana msijadiliane kwa mzaha obeni jambo hili na lisiwe ni biashara kwa maana mkiingiza biashara hapo kuingine wengine watakasirikia ndani na hizo hasira nyumae hazita ibuka mambo mema ni vizuri hapa ningechangia kwa kusema nasikia himizo moyoni mwangu kuendelea kuobea nyakati zetu 
even when families relate at the level of their sons and daughters getting married so that we don't commercialize let's not commodify our children to see what fanye ni viobo via kuuza na kununua ni binadamu ni wanadamu kama sisi na ajabu hilo lifanyike kwa heshima zile ambazo ni the items ambazo zina tolewa zizi tolewa kama watu wamejifichia moja na mwingine mm. na nyumae ikawa ndio itareta violence nyumae katika familia what foundation do we lay mm. and i want us we pray for this concern father in jesus name we meet at different levels in our developmental stages when even our sons and daughters are getting married are marrying and how we handle how we execute these processes at times they lay another foundation of domestic violence na toaomba mungu yetu katika kila hatua kila hari utatuwezesha sisi tukiwa wazazi tukiwa wale ambao wanahusika katika kila maongezi you've reminded us in Psalm 133 how blessed it is when brethren dwell in harmony na toaomba mungu yetu wale ambao mungu yetu ameweza kupitia katika dhuruma za msingi ambao haukuwekwa kwa njia inayofaa wakati wa door negotiations mungu wetu ukaweza kuwasaidia na uwakoboe we know there are hegemonic practices which are held by some way of orientation and socializations but we pray tonight utaweza kuendelea ukitukomboa tusione mali kuliko kuona mtoto aliyeumbwa na mfano wa Mungu pia zaidi twazidi kuombea wale ambao wakati huu wanaenda kufunganishwa wengine wamengoja kwa muda huu wa changamoto za covid 19 twakushukuru kwa maana unazidi kufungua milango na watasherehekea maisha yao ya ndoa kwa njia inayofaa hata wale ambao wameweka maagano hata baada ya covid tutakutana vikao ambavyo tutastarehe tukiwa wengi familia twaomba Mungu wetu jambo hili ukaliwezesha likatimilia hata baada ya kuvuka changamoto la covid 19 sikia maombi yetu na utubariki sisi zote kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu tumeomba amen amen, amen. tunataka kuwashukuru na Ruth Kanyeru amesema we pray for those who attract others or lure them and finally use violence on them pray for sadness to change na hili niombi tungetaka kuendelea kuomba ya kuwa sadness ni wale watu wanaofurahia wakati maovu inafanyika mm -hmm. so wakati mtoto anadhulumiwa hivyo wakati anamuua mke wake we pray that that spirit mm -hmm. will be defeated in the name of Jesus we are created in God's image and therefore it is good to really know that that other person mm -hmm. is as important as you are even in the eyes of God. Na hata katika ile hali ya mauaji remember that you stand before God and will be judged for any evil act that we ever did. There could be even psychological challenges. Mm -hmm. It is good when you notice somebody who keeps on threatening somebody that I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Be very careful that that might happen. So huyo mtu aangaliwe hata kimawazo kama kama kabisa ako sawa. So may God bless you. May God do you good. May you continue being enriched every day. Next week we'll continue with the, the same topic and we pray that if you have somebody whom you know has been going through this challenge, even if you will not name that person, just pass over that prayer to us and we keep on praying for that person. So God bless you. Good night and God be with you. Amen. Thank you Santa. so much. Amen.